Hey everyone, this is Fatal Thrive, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like for me being a left-handed PC gamer. Now, I've gotten numerous questions over the past years during my Twitch streams of why my key bindings are so weird, or, wait, you use delete to open a door? Which you can see in this video right now. And the simple answer to all these questions is, I cannot use WASD. I just can't do it. I'm left-handed, I have to use a left-handed mouse, and I have to use the arrow keys to move around. So what I've decided to do since I've gotten so many of these questions is to come out with a video explaining and showing everyone exactly what my key bindings are and just how I game being left-handed. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy this because it's going to be pretty funny and it's going to be pretty weird. So before I get into my key bindings or any of my settings in-game, I'm going to let you know what hardware I'm actually using. So this is the Razer Naga left-handed edition, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a big Razer fan, but this is they're the only company that makes a left-handed mouse. A left-handed MMO mouse, I should say. This is my main gaming mouse. Now what I like about this is it gives me way more options than I would usually get with a regular mouse with, let's say, uh, two buttons on the side. For instance, when it comes to PUBG, I use mouse buttons 7 and 8 to lean left and right, which is weird because usually you would use, uh, I believe it's Q and E, but because I use the arrow keys, I can't exactly use extra keys on my keyboard for that. So I'll use 7 and 8 to lean left and right. I'll actually use button 12 on my mouse for a reload and it is just a lot quicker for me. Now another disadvantage that I have using the arrow keys and being left-handed is that I don't have quick access to the number keys so switching between my weapons is quite difficult and that's where this mouse also comes into play because I can use my 1 through 5 on my mouse since they're bound to my 1 through 5 on my keyboard to switch between my weapons and equipment pretty easily. Now there is a disadvantage for me when it comes to playing first person shooters or third person shooters with an MMO mouse and those are misclicks. I misclick all the time because there's so many buttons on the side of my mouse there are times where I'll click you know number eight when I mean to click number six because I'm not constantly looking at my mouse nobody ever does that and if you're playing a first person shooter or a third person shooter you're usually using you know possibly maybe a death adder I do have a left-handed death adder but switching between mice all the time is kind of annoying for me now if that wasn't all weird enough, this is where it gets even stranger. This is the Corsair K55 keyboard. It's my main keyboard for everything that I do. And it's a pretty good keyboard for streaming actually because it's a rubber dome keyboard. And I don't really like a lot of sounds coming through my mic when I stream. I feel that it's really annoying to the viewer, but that's beside the point. The point here is that as you can see in the video, my right hand looks like it's broken when I play games. It just looks so strange to me, even looking at it right now. I use a lot of weird keys that people don't usually use, like the numpad zero key or numpad one. You know, uh, it's just one of those things that I have to do in order to play games. Since I use the arrow keys to move around, I don't have quick access to other keys like a WASD user would. So my hand tends to start looking like some deformed spider crawling across my keyboard the whole time. But over the years, this setup combined with my mouse setup has become so normalized to me that it just really doesn't bother me, and it's become pretty comfortable. Now a lot of people ask me, why don't I just use my numpad to move around and the keys around, you know, 8, 4, 6, 5, 2, to do other things? And, you know, the answer to that is, I've used the arrow keys so much in my life, I mean, throughout so many years, that I can't just change. It would be like asking a WASD user User to just use a uh, U, J, K, and I or something. I just can't do it. I can't, you know, adapt to a whole new system when I've been doing this for so many years. Now, there are some games that I simply just cannot play. No matter how hard I try, no matter how many times I redo the key bindings, it is impossible. And one of those games is DayZ or the Arma games. I cannot play them. There are way too many key bindings in those games. It is ridiculous and it's just not possible. I have tried 
numerous times to rebind keys and do everything that I possibly can by binding things to my mouse, but it's just not possible for me. There are also games that I just prefer to play with a controller. I usually use an Xbox 360 controller and, you know, some of those games are Watch Dogs or The Division. It's just something I feel more comfortable with. Uh, using a keyboard and mouse with, you know, the certain controls that are in those games, um, I just really can't do it. And when it comes to games like that, it really doesn't bother me using a controller because they're usually PvE focused, so it's not like I'm going against other players all the time. I understand the division, there's the dark zone, and in Watch Dogs they do have multiplayer modes, but, you know, it just doesn't bother me too much. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope I gave you a little insight on how I play as a left-handed gamer, and don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!